go for our th thickness, sorry, font white. Is it font white? Yeah, so we write the... No, 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 my bad, it's font black. I was just reading the part below this. Font black. Okay, so this is our border around the um, the menu item. And next thing we're saying is we're saying if menu index, menu, just going to do that, index, equals equals i, so is that, um, is i in our current menu, um, so is that current menu item highlighted basically, are we currently um, scroll down to that part, if it is, right, then we draw a border around it, so let's draw a border box, and we draw a white border around it, uh, to say that that menu item is highlighted, so we selected that one currently, so we're going to go for 41 here, and these are all values I tested myself a bunch of times. It's not like I, I knew them from some sort of formula because I didn't. So 26 plus Y, 228. These are just the ones that look best to me. So 228 and then 48. And then 4 for our thickness of that line. And then font white. So always saying, you know, is that current thing is highlighted. And then uh, just after that, we're going to draw some text. All right. So we draw text. Text A should be our draw text a function uh, and uh, we're gonna say hack so we're gonna display the hacks name so hack i dot name that's what we're gonna send there so it displays the text inside our border um, s oops sorry dot ctr because it's a pointer string s ct yeah there it is c string uh, so we send that in there um, and then we say uh, 170 which is our x where we want to start and this is obviously things I trialed and narrowed a few times 39 plus y and that's the height we want and we want that text to be written in black the font black um yeah so draw text and then we say at the end we say y plus 50 so the next item is increased in height so, so it decreased well in theory it's lower on the screen so that's y plus 50 um, <coughs> excuse me so Draw text, uh, yeah, so all we do then after that, we draw some text, oops, we draw some text, so that should be good, that looks good to me, mm -hmm. yeah, that looks very good to me, so what, what this will do is it'll be able to add as many items as you like, obviously there'll be a limit on your screen, of course, but um, if you change the sides and make things a bit smaller, then you can fit loads and loads of them, with this formula you can display as many things as you like, it's nothing difficult or special, but it works good for us. So what we're going to send in here is we're going to send our, we're going to say select using arrow keys. This is only, uh, especially for people that you make this, you send it to your friend, that way your friend knows, you know, um, he knows exactly what to uh, to expect. So you do 62, and I do um, open and close brackets here. Not, is it brackets? Yes. I think the brackets, um, because um, I prefer doing this when we're doing some calculations. It's just to make sure there are no f uh, mistakes. So six times times menu, uh, six times max menu items, menu items, and what we're saying here, menu items. What we're saying here is we're saying um, so. For example, there's seven items, so we display it at 62 times the amount of menu items there is. So we add plus seven on that because that's just a trial and error number um, we had plus seven that and we're saying you know so you can have as many items as you like it's just that at the end of that there'll be the uh, information so people know what to do so font white this is um, a nice little interface that allows noobs and all that good stuff your friends especially uh, they might not know anything about coding and we're not expecting them to so that's how why we're doing all like that your friend don't doesn't know what he's doing so he just he's got the instructions that way you can't go wrong on off by itself is simple so you run this once and you should be able to uh, use it every time from then onwards key uh, I do talk a load of crap though that's <laughs> almost a fact uh, something I forgot to add here good thing I saw on this next one 170 there how did it let me do this um, yeah sorry my bad completely my bad there I was just following some old uh, another thingy so I shouldn't have done that so that should be 170 Oops, I'm such a screw up. 170, uh, and then the s same distance except we're doing 27. So that text will be just below the first one. So we're saying select using the arrow keys and then turn off or on using the end key. And that, once again, I said end key because it's um, 
it's something that really rarely ever gets used in games. If it does get used in games, when we get to keyboard input, you can choose another key and you can write another name. They're fully up to you, as usual. And now we're going to do our border box. Now, um, did I do the draw field rectangle already? I'm sure I've done this. No, I didn't. I'll do it in a minute. Um, yeah, so we're going to draw a border box first. Should we or not? I'm sure we've done the draw field rectangle, didn't we? I'm sure we've done it. Um, don't know what's going on here. Don't know if I deleted it, so I'm sure we had done it though. Am I just confusing myself or what? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, um, we hadn't done it. We've done the um the draw text function, which is fairly similar actually. We haven't done the uh, draw field rectangle, so let's do that first. They are very similar, that's why I got confused. So they both involved creating a rectangle. So let's do that. Rectangle. Uh we can call it RCT as well, it doesn't matter. Um actually this is a direct 3D rectangle and we need to make sure it's direct 3D, otherwise um it might not work according to our our thingies. Uh so what we're gonna do is gonna go X, X con Y and now this formula here isn't mine, there's no formula actually, this rectangle is a mine. I, s I saw this somewhere and because I was trying to do my own rectangle and stuff and um, I had it nearly done not quite the same though mine was like missing a part on the end of the, the, the rectangle so I looked up someone's tutorial and uh, I found out how to do this so we'll go x plus w here which y plus uh, I'll try and explain this plus uh, so x comma y comma x plus w and then y plus h so leave a space if you like uh, a bit easier to read I guess um, yeah so that seems good to me so what we're saying is um, uh, for our rectangle, once we do, uh, because when we're drawing with Direct 3D, we need to give it. In this example, we're using clear to draw. We could use lines, but lines would take a lot more <laughs> lines of code to do that. Uh, but with clear, we can just create a rectangle and just send it straight into the uh, device, and we just create it immediately. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use our Direct 3D device, and we're going to go clear. And what this does is it clears a portion of the screen that we selected through our rectangle and it puts the color that we chose and um, it displays it there so just think of that replacing a chunk of your screen with this rectangle um, one feel free to add anything in the comments guys so like I said I'm not an expert at this so and so we're passing it by reference as usual um, RCT sorry not bar where did I get bar from uh, let me say direct 3D clear target to clear that space and then we put that all symbol again except only one of them clear oh, I always wondered did I oops, 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 oops. Now I don't know if this is necessary but um, on the all, pretty much all examples I found you had to do this and then we're sending color in there because that's the color we want to put there as a clear and those both are zero we don't have to worry about those so all this does is it gets the space on our screen and just fills it with the, uh, the coordinates we set out here and the color we chosen um, and that's it it's a very simple function now our border box is a little bit difficult well it's not difficult at all I'll try and explain as we do it now I tried to find a lot of examples online and I couldn't so I it took me a while to figure this one out so the way it, we're gonna do this so I'm just gonna try and load paint.net here and I'll try and explain this to you Come on, paint on it. Don't be crap. There you go. So the way we do a rectangle here, so that's obviously a bordered rectangle, and I'll try and explain this a little bit to those of you that don't know. So field shape here. This is what we just created. For example, on our. Um, so um, I'm just going to move that to there. So this is pretty much our border box. No, sorry, our field rectangle. So that's that there. So let's do that. That's our field rectangle. So we created one of these. Now, in order to um, create a border, so we've got this one here. In order to create a border, we could do uh, a bunch of lines, you know, uh, and do the coordinates from one side to the other. But we don't need to do that because we've already got a way of creating a rectangle. Now, a rectangle can also be a line, as you can see here. That is a line, right? So if, let's just put a different color. So that's a line, right? So what we can do is we can say draw a line from here to here okay right apologies on this being drawn wrong but I'm just trying to make a point here and then we can draw a line from here to here and then we can draw a line for a rectangle sorry from here to here and then we do one from here to here 
So we basically just end up drawing four rectangles and we've got a border. So all we need to know is the X and the Y. So that's how we create a border. We basically just do four rectangles, uh, one to here, one to here, one to here, and one to here. And all we need is our X and the Y and the width and the height. And let's do that now then. So I hope that made a tiny bit of sense to you and you'll see this in action right here. So we're going to draw a field rectangle, just a normal rectangle here. Draw a field rectangle. Um, I'm going to say X, Y, that's our coordinates as usual, width, and our height will be our thickness, okay? And then we're going to choose our color, of course, for the right 3D color, and our device to draw that width, okay? And we could have made the global for the direct 3D device, but I didn't want to do that because, uh, you know, C++ and all that good safety stuff. So this first line is our top vert horizontal line. So uh, th this is the first line we draw on just now. Okay. So now we're going to draw our left vertical line. So this one right here, which will be connected to that one. So draw a field rectangle, and all we're going to make is a couple of changes. So feel free to labor this. So this is top horizontal line, top vertical line. If you don't know anything about horizontal vertical, there's nothing to know. It's just two different. So horizontal is like that and vertical is up and down. So if you think about horizontal, you can think about the horizon. I think that works because the horizon is like that. Really gay. I know. I'm sorry about that. But um, that's how I always remember it. Um, and all this changes here is we say instead of our width, we put our thickness in there. And uh, we send that normal height in there. So that's our uh, left vertical line, uh, and now what we're going to do is our right vertical line. So once again, paste that. Um, oops, no, not that. Uh, this so copy, fucking copy this, and uh, we're going to do our field rect uh, rectangle um, right vertical line. So that will be x plus w on the first one there, x plus w, uh, and then we're going to put our y in here, and then thickness there, and then our height, our height, which seems fine to me. And our device. So that's our right horizontal line, I believe. Yep. As my comments tell me. And our final one, which will be our bottom horizontal line, is x, comma y, and then thickness. But we're going to add the w onto that. So if you can think th this through, uh, it's a bit complicated to remember now. I've done this a while back. But um, and then for our h, we put our thickness in. Thickness. So as you can see, we've got our first line here, which is our horizontal line. So all you need to send is your width and height and the coordinates. The rest is done for you. And the thickness you want, so if you want a thick ass border like this, or one like this, then you can just specify that. So the higher number, the thicker, common sense. Um, so first line here draws, that, like I said, horizontal line. Oops, draws that first line. Uh, second one draws our left vertical line. So second one draws this one. Feel free to add comments on that if you like. Uh, our next line uh, does um, our right vertical line, so does this one, and our last one does this one. So as you go, um, that's it. So an example here on the last one, as you can see, uh, I'm not going to explain every single one of them into detail because otherwise we'd spend ages. But if you look at the last one, the horizontal line, you've got the x and the y, so we know where it is. So we immediately position it right here, right? You see the small, very small dot. That's where we immediately position it. Um, well, almost there, pretty much. Um, let's get rid of these. No one of these. Um, and then we're saying, we're saying, go all the way to there, okay? But that's the distance. The distance is that. Um, now, um, this hopefully would fill that bit. But if it doesn't, we're we're adding the we're going from there, and then we're adding the thickness onto the width. So the thickness will be four. So let's add the four. So that will be it. And that's it. And then uh, our thickness just goes in the um, the H as well. So that's pretty much it. I hope that was a half decent explanation for you. And just get rid of that. Um, and that's it, pretty much. So I um, hope that clears it up. Uh, let me think. What are we doing now? So now we're going to do our keyboard input. So we've got our border. So this is what we're going to use for ESPs and all that good stuff later on. Although I haven't developed those yet. I'll get into those um, as soon as I've got some free time. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do our keyboard input, and now this is our last function, guys. So hopefully, if we run written our code properly, let's just pull an F6 on this, see if uh, we made any mistakes. Apparently not, uh, but we might have screwed up the logic at some point. So if you've done any of my hacks before or tutorials and stuff, you'll know that uh, get a sync key state is what we use to get uh, which key state the user is pressing. 
key sorry which key the user is pressing and we use virtual keys now these are defined with defined within windows so 